Just a reminder of our telephone number again, 08600 7 I've got a gentleman on the line, I think his name is Unarine, who's got some questions on translations. Hello, Unarine, are you there? Hi. Um, am I saying your name correctly? Yeah. Okay. All right. So um, you you called us and and you've got some questions on um, translations out of the classroom mathematics. Yeah. Am I right? Okay. I've just picked a couple of those questions um, that that you were worried about, and we're just going to go through them and 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 try and see if we can help you. All right. Okay. Okay. Now um, the first question that we're going to have a look at is they say to us we start off with the point P, and P is x is zero and y is 2. And then we translate the point P to P dash, and the coordinates of P dash are x is 7 and y is 4. Now, Unary, what they want us to do in this question is they want to tell us, um, they say, determine the following translations, and we must give the answer in this form. So we must say x and y, and then we must tell them what did we do to x and what did we do to y? Okay, now firstly, um, I want us maybe, Unarine, just to plot these points, okay, so that we can see how they move. So the point x is zero. Um, are you still there? Yeah. Uh, okay, so this is just a rough little sketch. x is zero, y is two. We'll put that over there. Um, x is 0, y is 2, and then x is 7, y is 4. Let's put that there. x is 7, y is 4. Now, let's first look at the x values, Unarine. What has happened to the x values? Which side have we moved to, left or right? Okay, starting from P over here. Can you see that the x, that the x has moved right? Can you see that, Unarine? Yeah, I can see that. Okay, so what's happened here is um, at P originally, the X value was zero and we jumped one, two, three, four, five, six, seven values, seven values to the right, okay? So what has happened to the translation? We're gonna say X and Y and we're gonna say X plus seven. Do you know why I'm saying X plus seven, Unary? Okay, now what you need to, to remember for me is if the x value moves to the right, then we say x plus, okay? If the x value moves to the left, we say x minus, okay? okay. If the y value moves up, we say y plus, and if the y value moves down, we say y minus, okay? Yeah. So our x value has moved seven units from P to P dash. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. Now tell me quickly, what has happened to the Y value? I started off at 2 and I, I ended up with a Y value of 4. Has it moved up or down? Hello? Hello. Can you see that your Y value has moved up? Can you see that 4 is higher than 2? Yeah. Okay. So how much is 4 higher than 2? I believe we add the Okay, uh, Unary, uh, yeah. the, the translation is y plus 2. All right. Yeah. Okay. Um, we're going to try one more, um, just, just a simple one, and then we'll see if you get it right now. Okay. Um, I, if I start off with an x value of, let me just, okay, let, we're going to start off with, um, a and we say A is X is 2, Y is 4. And then we translate A to A dash and now X is 6 and let's say Y is 0. Okay, Yunarin, quickly. From 2 to 4, oh, sorry, from 2 to 6, have I moved left or right? 
We seem to have lost our connection there with you, Noreen, but we're going to carry on with the question right now. This is important even for some of our grade 10 and grade 9 learners. Um, we've got the, our starting point was A and X is 2, Y is 4. So what has happened to our X value is our X value has moved to the right by 4 units from 2 to 6. So we're going to say this is X plus 4 and our Y value has gone from 4 down to 0. So the translation here is Y minus 4. All right, so that's the first type of translation that we get. Um, they can give us one point and another point and they basically just ask us to tell them what did we have to do to move the point around. The next sort of translation that we get, um, well, they could ask us something like this. Let's do this quickly. I hope Unarine is watching. Let's say they say to us, A is 3 and negative 7. And they say, translate the point A to A dash and give us the coordinates at A dash if we use the translation, if we use the translation, let's say, X minus 4 and Y minus 1. Right. Now, all we need to do really is remember that we are moving up or down. Um, if it's Y plus, we are moving to the right. If it's Y minus, we are moving to the left. Sorry, if it's X plus, we are moving to the right. If it's X minus, we're moving to the left. Y plus means up and Y minus means down. So let's have a look. Um, a, X is 3, Y is minus 7. It's just more or less X is 3, Y is negative 7. And now we're going to move this coordinate. Let's just see what we decided. We're going to move the X value. X minus 4 means 4 units to the left. That way. And Y minus 1 means 1 unit down that way. All right, so four units to the left, X is three. We're going to make one, two, three jumps, and then we're on the Y axis, and another jump. Then we are to this side of the Y axis, and the co Y coordinate there will now be negative one. Then we have to look at what do we have to do to the Y coordinate. It said Y minus one, so we're going to move it down one, and our new, um, our new coordinate is then X is negative one, and y is negative 8. All right, Unarine had all sorts of other questions as well um, about reflections around the x-axis, reflections around the y-axis. We seem to have lost him, but I'm just quickly, um, if he's watching at home, we're just quickly going to go over. We had a, there was a question. Let's say we have the point A over here, and A is the point x is 2, y is 4. And they then say, um, if we get a dash and the coordinates of a dash are now x is negative 2 y is 4 what sort of reflection do we have here now I think um, most of our students will be able to see that if we were to fold our page on the y-axis that these two coordinates a and a dash would fall perfectly on each other so that was the next thing that I was going to show you Noreen is if we have X and Y and our um, reflection or yeah, our reflection is then negative X with the same Y value, it means our reflection is in the Y axis and um, the equation of the Y axis is of course X is equal to zero. Then if we have, let's say, another point over here, X is now two and Y is negative four, what you can see now is if you were to fold your page on the x-axis that these two would fall perfectly on each other. We started with x and y. We now have the same x value and the same y value except that it's negative y. And this is then a reflection in the x-axis which is the line y is equal to zero. And then the last one was if I have something like this let's say x is 2 and y is 4 
the reflection of that to x is 4, y is 2. What has happened here? The x and the y value have switched around, and that is then a reflection in the line y is equal to x.